What's going on guys, Game for the 95 here, back with uh, part 4 of our 2510 opening of number 10 Illuminate 10s. Uh, each 10 comes with 2 Storm Ragnarok packs, 2 Extreme Victory packs, and 1 Generation Force pack. And I guess we'll open one of the promo packs, get a Secret Rare number 10 Illuminate, it looks really cool. Super Rare Aaron Lightsworn Monk, Super Rare XX Saber Dark Soul, Super Rare The Tyrant Neptune, and a Super Rare Solemn Warning. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started right away. We have a March Towards Ragnarok Rare and a Symphonic Warrior Drums. Second pack. Uh, Gulf Axe and the North Beasts. Okay. We on to Extreme Victory. Mechlord Army of Granal. Another Extreme Victory pack. This is super rare so far. Could be better. Brain Hazard. All right, and now Generation Four. So if we can pull a, a Levier, a Steel Storm Roach, or a Nova Master or something. Oh, we just got Jaws Man. Alright, Storm Ragnarok again. Some good rares in this set. Uh, Asceticism of the Six Samurai. Sardis Phantom, I guess we pulled. There's a good common Kagamusha of the Six Samurai. Because uh, Six Samurais are pretty decent now, actually, I would have to say. Uh, Tend or something of the Nordic Beasts. We got one of these cards, so... I don't know how that gets into a tin. Doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, Chaos Infinity. Whoa, that's weird. The rare came after five commons. That doesn't normally happen. Maybe they're mispackaged and I just got like 20 hollows in this pack. Oh, Trade Toad and a Super Rare Dodger Dragon. Alright, Generation Force. Uh, Master of Vapor Super. That's uh, not a bad pull. I actually have a playset in my binder that I've been looking to get rid of. Actually, no, only two copies, and then this one makes a playset, so not bad. March Towards Ragnarok and a Temple of the Six, super. So we've been pulling a lot of super rares from these tins. Nothing too good, though. Gullfax and the Nordic Beasts. Alright, Extreme Victory. Hopefully we can pull a Tour Guide or a Mystic Piper or a Safe Zone or something. Nope, just a Buster Blaster. Alright, full house. So nothing good out of this ten. Maybe generation force will change that. Uh United Front. I didn't even know that was in the set. I don't even know what that card is, to be quite honest. Ooh, the Nordic Lights Ultra. And a Doppel Warrior. Put that in that pile. Cause that's a, a good rare right there. Uh, Symphonic Warrior Basis and a Symphonic Warrior Piano. Oops, I completely forgot. Are there any Kagamushas in here? No. I've been pulling a lot of Symphonic Warrior Hollows. Weird. Psychic Field Zone, rare. And an upside down pack. Ooh, what does that mean? What could it mean? Nope, it means nothing. Right, I gotta get at least a Seeker Rare. Come on. Submersible Carrier Arrow Shark and a Painful Return. Alright, the last 10 for this video. Hopefully, we can pull something good. Uh, Legendary Six Samurai Kageki. Oh, wait, no, that's not supposed to go in that pile. Why are all the cards upside down? Uh, Diverga the Nordic Alphar and a Symphonic Warrior Drums again. So I think by now we've had a playset of the drums and the basses. Full house. Wow, extreme victory has not been uh, much of an extreme victory. I'll tell you that right now. Buster Blaster. And last pack for the video. Generation Force. What will we get? 
Nah, nothing. Just an air orca. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll have the last part up soon, probably. Um, yeah, and then I have some more uh, things that I ordered off of the website I, that I buy my stuff, which is Dave and Adam's cards. I think I bought 13... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur tins because they were on sale for $12 a piece. So I decided to pick up a bunch of them just because uh, the tins promos make up a lot of the money and then I can just hope for the best out of the pulls and then you know. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Yep. Peace.